So let's keep it rolling. welcome back to my channel I'm Shonda the original stack sister and I'm actually going to do another book tag today um so I got my books ready so the tag I'm going to be doing is the stay at home tag um as soon as I saw it it was actually very funny and I felt like it was only right for me to jump in and give y'all what I got so for the tag what I'll do is I'll give the kind of like the heading that she gave and then talk about what it means so the first one is laying in bed um, and that's a book you could or you have read in a day um, and so got my book stack here ready to go and so that book for me is gonna be God Help the Child by Toni Morrison I I like Toni Morrison's writing. Um, she's one of my favorite writers. Uh, I think she's just extremely profound. And so when I when this was coming out, I immediately hopped on it and just read it. Um, it wasn't my favorite writing from her, to be honest. Um, I actually like plenty of her books better. Um, but it was an okay read. Like it wasn't bad. Snacking. Okay, so this is the Guilty Pleasure book. And I'm going to always bring this book up, but Kendrick by Octavia Butler is my Guilty Pleasure. I have read it and will read it over and over again. Love it. So the next one is Netflix. Uh, and that is a series you want to start. Um, and that, I would say it's the Binti series by Nnedi Okorfor. Um... I I have been hearing right like I've been hearing and hearing and hearing about this book. Uh, it's like a science fiction fantasy black novella, um, and I I'm with it. I'm with it. Uh, and so whenever I have time to actually get the trilogy and read it, I'm gonna do it because that's at the top of my list right now. A deep clean. So a book that has been on your TBR for a really long time. The book that I'm going to center for this is Gods of Jade and Shadow by Sylvia Moreno Garcia. Um, I got it in my book of the month. Like I chose it for one of my book of the month for the subscri subscription. And I have been right like it's the cover I've been looking at this cover and looking at this cover and looking at it and kept saying I, I literally keep saying I'm gonna jump into it um, and I just I just haven't um, so this is the top of the TBR the next one is Animal Crossing and this is a book you bought because of the hype so if we're being honest I recently bought books from my local independent bookstore I don't want to tell you exactly what I bought. All of them were, be were because of the hype that they have on Instagram right now. And that's right, baby. These ghosts are family and an American marriage right there. The next one is productivity. And this is a book that has had an impact on you. And through and through, I will always put Sister Outsider. Uh, this is, I mean, like, look at that. You know what I mean? Like this book is like a man. This book is life and nourishment for me. I actually say every black woman should read this book at least one time in their life uh, because it's just really, really good. Uh, the way that Audre Lorde um, uses words and talks about race and gender and sexuality and and being and life and so many different things right like audrey lore always comes with the writing for the soul and this is no different and so get this book jump into it because it's good the next section is facetime and that's a book given to you by somebody anybody but it's a book that's gifted to you um and that for me is this treasure right here um it was actually given to me by my husband after i talked about it and talked about it and read an article and then talked about it some more uh it's romance and marcel's by claw mckay and i listen this is a seminal document for any black queer folks um i think this is 
one of the earliest, as I think about the Rolodex in my brain, one of the earliest uh, published literature of overtly black queerness um, written by a black person. It talks about transatlantic travel, black international politics, um, and it's just, it's just good, right? Like, Claude McKay is one of my favorite poets and writers from the Harlem Renaissance, next to Zora. Zora is on her own pedestal, but, you know, this, this was it for me. I needed to get this in my library. The next one is self-care and you're supposed to answer the question is what is one thing you've done for yourself throughout this whole quarantine stay at home thing? And that for me is one, me being on this here screen and two, because I feel like that's kind of cheating, uh, I would say is getting back in the gym, uh, working on my fitness, uh, mainly because I need something to do with all of my energy and going to work and then going around and sitting on the couch does not work for me. The bonus question is basically a book that you're excited about being released. That book for me is Felix Ever After. It comes out May 12th. Um, and all I'm gonna say is the main character is black, queer, and trans. And so, you know, I gotta pick that up. All in all, subscribe and vibe and you know, See you at my next video. And that's all I got for y'all today. That's, it took me a long time to record this, but you won't know that.